Welcome to the homework for lesson 26. This is module 7 of third grade. Please write your name first. And use rectangles A and B to answer the questions below. There they are labeled. What is the perimeter of rectangle A? So we already have the picture. So for reading, drawing, and writing, all we really have to do now is write the equation in our answer statement. So rectangle A is... Well, since we see the length and the width are the same, and it's a rectangle, we know that that's for, it's a square. And you could write that out as multiplication, but I, I've said this many times before, I like to keep writing perimeter as addition, and that way I don't get mixed up and think about area and, and write the wrong units. The perimeter is... This is perimeter. We're adding the side lengths together, not multiplying to find the area inside. And that is 4 times 4. It's 4 fours. You could write it that way, but I just I think it's confusing to do that, so I, I don't do it. What is the perimeter of rectangle B? It's two threes and two fives, right? Because there's a 3 here and a 5 here. Oh, those are really sloppy practically unreadable. There. There, all right. So it's two threes and two fives. That's uh, P equals three plus three plus five plus five. And that's those doubles are six plus 10, it's 16. Sixteen centimeters again. What is the area of rectangle A? So the area, right? We multiply the sides. Uh, rectangle A, and now the areas don't have to be the same for these, even though the perimeter is. So the area of rectangle A is four times four, which equals sixteen. Well, I have to write sentences for all of these two. I need answer statements. I'm kind of forgetting that. But I'll go back and get it after I finish this. Um, that's, uh, and then these are square, since it's area, they're not centimeters, they're square centimeters. And there is a reason for writing these words out because, it, honestly, words like perimeter, that's a word that you're not going to see anywhere outside of your math homework or in math class in school. Uh, so it, it's very unusual to see it, and nobody really says it in conversation that much. Um, so writing it and reading it, practicing that, makes it easier to recognize it especially when you're taking a, a, a test. It's important to be able to read these words and recognize them when you see them, and practicing writing them out helps you do that. The primitive A is 16 cm. What is the area of rectangle B? So that's 3 times 5. And that's, make sure you get your units in here, square CM. Use your answers to parts A through D to help you explain the relationship between area and perimeter. So this is something that has been in other homework assignments in the past, very similar questions. 
So just what do you see? Um, what happens between area? We have area is the same. And I mean the perimeter of these two is the same. But the area is different. So I mean, we can't say that if one gets bigger, the other gets bigger, or one gets smaller, the other gets smaller. We can't say that. Um, so what we can say is that just what you know, what we just noticed. Let's just write down what we just noticed, or what I just noticed. Maybe you noticed something different, and you can write that down. And we just have to figure out how to say it. And uh, and probably you you might be able to figure out a better way to say it than me. But I'm just gonna just write what I thought of. Area can be different if perimeter is the same. You might have thought another way to say it, like um, knowing the perimeter doesn't tell you what the area will be. It's something like that. I mean, there's lots of different ways to say something like this, uh, and and there's lots of ways to write. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of other answers that can be right. Just write down what you notice. Each student in Mrs. Dutra's class draws a rectangle with whole number side lengths. That means no fractions involved, and a perimeter of 28 centimeters. Then they find the area of each rectangle and create the table below. Here's the table. Area and number of students. Give two examples for Mrs. Dutcher's class to show how it is possible to have different areas for rectangles that have the same perimeter. So let's start by, that's reading it, and now we're going to draw it. Because it, these are word problems. It's R D W. Read, draw, write for all of them. Every word problem, every day, all year long. So, R D W. These all have perimeter of 28. So the perimeters are all the same. And so for a perimeter of 28, 28 that means the length and the width have to add up to half of that, which is 14. So we need rectangles that add up to we need rectangles with perimeters that lengths and widths add up to 14. And here we know what the areas are. So this one is this first one is 13. I mean just to pick the first one, you could do any of them really. Um, this 13. So what would we have? We need we need, they have to add up to 14. So that means we have a one and a 13. And these are centimeters. And when you multiply 13 times 1, you get 13, and that's 13 square centimeters. And what's another way to make uh, 14 out of this? Um, two sevens. That would make a, that would make a square, right? Uh, so let's not. I already drew a rectangle, so I'm not going to make it a square. I'm going to make it uh, 14. Let's just make it 10 and 4. And I'm going to write the area inside here. And this, just, this doesn't get, ask us a question. There's no question mark there. So we don't have to write an answer statement. It just says to give two examples, and that's what I'm doing. And I could write an equation here too. 13 times 1 equals 13. Uh, area is 13 square centimeters. And if you don't have room to write it inside the rectangle, you can erase it and draw a bigger rectangle or just write it below the rectangle out here. Area equals, and I'll write it 10 times 4 equals 40. And did any students in Mrs. Dutcher's class draw a square? Explain how you know. 
Well, let's figure out what would be the, uh, we have all these areas. We just have to figure out, and you might have already figured it out in your head. I did kind of give it away in the last, when I was talking over the last form. But um, what is the area of the square? So we need, say this is a square, which is a pretty terrible looking square, but I'm calling it a square. And we know it has side lengths that have to be equal. And so we could either say the sides are, the perimeter is 28. So it's either 28 divided by 4, or we could think the perimeter is 28, so two sides together have to be half of that, which is 14. 14 divided by 2. Either one you thought of, I think 14 divided by 2 is easier. So these are all 7s. And now we can figure out the area. Equal 7 times 7, which is 49. The area of the square. is 49 square cm. And how many students drew that? Two students. Two two students drew a forty nine square centimeter rectangle. Whew, there. Now, because he sometimes it didn't all fit in there, and I had a little more room to the edge of the page, but sometimes that's what you have to do to get everything to fit. It's okay, as long as you can read it. What are the side lengths of the rectangle that most students in Mrs. Dutcher's class made with a perimeter of 28 centimeters? Most students, the side lengths that most students made. So... There's the number of students here, five. So most, five is the most, and that's 40, an area of 40. So we need side lengths that add up to 28 and multiply to make 40. So we can either think about the side lengths first or the area first. And I'm just going to write this down. Area equals 40 square centimeters. Perimeter equals 28 centimeters. So we can either think of um, what rectangle has a we know that there's lots of them that have, there's lots of ways we can multiply to make 40. And there's lots of ways to make, multiply to, to, to add, I mean, to make 28. But we're really thinking for 28, it really, it, it makes it so much easier to think of length plus width and only half of it to make it just easier to think about. So that means length plus width is going to equal 14. And then length times width is going to be 40. So we have to figure out these. Um, we could just start figuring out what all the perimeters. We, we know what all the side lengths. We could start getting side lengths that have a perimeter of 28 and see which ones will multiply to be 40. Or we can figure out which ones have an area what numbers will have an area of 40 and a perimeter of 28. So let's think about the. I want to think about this one first. Because what are the factor pairs for 40? We have 4 times 10, right? That's an easy one. Uh, there's 1 times 40. 2 times 20. 
uh, 3 won't work. Before we have 5 times 8 and 6 won't work because there's no 40 is not a multiple of 6 and it's not a multiple of 7 either. So those are all the factor pairs for 40. We're going to look at those four factor pairs and think which ones will add up to 14. So 1 plus 40. I'm going to have a little more room here on the edge of my page. I'm going to write there. And I'm going to write this is 4 plus 10 equals 14. And I'm done. <laughs> right? That's it right there. Because if I if I did, but if I wrote them down in a different area, uh, 1 plus 40 is 41, and that's not it. And then 2 plus, maybe there's more than one, so we'll just do them all. 2 plus 20 equals 22, and 5 plus 8 equals 13. So we know the side lengths have to be, that's the one right there. So I'm just going to draw it then, now that I have that. And keep all of that, please. Don't erase it all or hide it. And please write down something like it to show how you figured it out. Because you really need to have that down there. Um, you have to have all of this stuff uh, to, sh to show how you figured it out. Uh, so this is going to be 10. And you don't have to have exactly the same stuff that I have, but you should have something that shows how you figured it out so that somebody else who wasn't inside your head when you did it can tell, tell you back exactly how you did it. You did this first, and then you did this, and then you did that. And somebody should be able to look at what you wrote and figure out exactly how you figured how you did it. And now we need an answer statement, which is going to be the side lengths are... And I want to do one, just one last check of everything, just to, because I know sometimes I forget to answer questions. Perimeter of the rectangle A, I have answer statements and equations. Rectangle B, I have equation and answer statement. I have area, can be different K, and then I have, uh, didn't have a question there, so I didn't have to need, I didn't need an answer statement. Did any students in Mrs. Dutcher's class draw a square? Oh, I didn't answer that. I didn't say yes. So I wrote the area of this. I wrote my explanation, but I didn't write yes. So I just need to say yes. There, the area of the squares. Okay, that's all I needed. I needed to have that, though, because otherwise I didn't have an answer. I just had an explanation there. So, and then this one, uh, I, I, have the, I have all the work that I've shown there.